NRS is working to make the foundation of the internet more accountable and transparent. The formation of the NRS was prompted by corruption, distortion and threats made by Afrinic in its bid to reclaim IPs and disconnect millions of end users. We firmly believe that an alliance of ISPs is required to bring the community and the internet operators together to hold the ORIR to a higher standard of accountability and transparency. We must do this so that the number system that was created 30 years ago remains true to its original mission as a bookkeeper and continues to strive for the new century. What is NRS? NRS is a collective body formed by internet resource members all over the world who advocate for a fair, open and transparent internet. And we aim to accomplish this by holding the regional internet registries or IOR system accountable, making sure they function as they were created to. That is a broad definition of who we are and why we do what we do. But if you're asking why the RIR system needs to be held accountable, this is why. In 1992, during the early days of the internet, the RIRs were created as a small circle of only a handful of members. Imagine your after-school chess program. RIRs were in charge of distributing IP addresses and maintaining a registration database of the users of these IP addresses. In the past, a member of the RIR, Chess Club, would write down a sequence of numbers like 1.1.1.1. Then, this chess member would assign the 1.1.1.1 to another member of the other chess club. This was how IP addresses were distributed and the RIR was naturally regarded as the IP address's bookkeeper. This means that they keep accurate records of who gets every sequence of number or IP address. Back then, because the RIR was a small club with few members, communication was easy and efficient. Policies and how to operate were fair, open and transparent. But that was soon about to change. As demand increases, supply has to grow with it. The internet was no longer reserved for a select few. More and more people gained access. And with this access came the need for more RIRs to properly and accurately distribute IP addresses for millions of internet users worldwide. And to fulfill the demand, the RIR expanded. It was no longer a small chess club anymore. The RIR had to expand from Ripe to Apnik, Aaron, Lachnik, Afrinik, and five RIR collectively now calling themselves the NRO. This expansion had to happen to satisfy the massive desire of billions of internet users worldwide. And while this expansion was great for you and me to have access to the internet, it robbed us of the one thing that Small Chess Club had, oversight. As a small chess club, everyone can hold each other accountable. And when you become a large organization serving billions of people worldwide, accountability and oversight become more difficult to carry out. The RIR system was created brilliantly on the backbone of openness and transparency. But when the small chess club grows to become a group of massive companies, the lack of any oversight body can be fatal because it gives room for corruption and illegal activities. And even more, a lack of communication between rear and individual resource members will only grow larger due to a lack of representation. How? What if I told you that many people don't even know what an RIR is, even though they're part of it? IP addresses are vital to every internet business. This means without an IP address, you can't have internet access. Whoever holds the power of registration database of those IP addresses potentially has the power to control a vital utility of modern society. However, many senior management of internet operators and IP business owners don't even know what the RIR is. They leave the important political decisions needed to keep the internet functioning to their IT department 
and are not bothered to stay informed because they think such things aren't important. They couldn't be more wrong. An IT technician should not be in charge of deciding who gets to cast your company's vote in an RIR election. It must be you, the chairman, the CEO, the managing director. It is your responsibility. The RIR organization you are a part of decides who gets access to the internet and other internet resources. Hence, such vital vote should be in your hands. The last thing you want is to have your IT tech say that your company is required to do illegal things because the RIR demanded it. You will be in a situation where you cannot fight against injustice because you decided not to get involved in the voting process and now you're stuck with a corrupt RIR. Why am I telling you this? The current board members of Afrinic are not representing your interests as a resource member. Because of a lack of representation and many CEOs and directors choosing not to be involved in the voting process, evil people have taken over Afrinic. And this poses a serious threat to the entire RIR system. They have abused the registration database, using corruption, extortion, threats and false allegations against their own membership. The current Afrinic leadership has constantly made false claims against its members and they pose a real danger to the stability of the internet in Africa. This is dangerous territory, but all hope's not lost and here is what you can do right now from the comfort of your home, office or even the internet shop. Join NRS. We need more members from NRS to be in the management level of the RIR. Why? Because we need an impartial committee to act as a strong oversight, an accountability arm of the RIR system, making sure the RIR stays true to its original mission. That is, to be an accurate, free and transparent bookkeeper. Please be warned, NRS will not replace RIR, and we don't want to. What we want is to help get the RIR system back on track. To make the RIR more accountable, to make it what it was originally created for. We want to act as part of the system that to make sure the current numbering system is working efficiently and that it is accountable to everyone who uses it. If we let the current leadership in Afrinic run wild with its policies and its bylaws, there will be no doubt be a complete collapse of not just Afrinic, but of the whole internet. And while there's hope, why not do everything possible to prevent this from happening? To prevent anarchy from reigning supreme, and to prevent the global disaster of the internet's collapse. But we must act now. We cannot linger or waste time anymore. We must come together and fight this as one, because if we don't, we will likely fail. But together we can succeed. Join NRS today. Join our fight for the stability and accountability of this very fundamental piece of the internet. NRS vows to bring back the accountability, honesty and transparency to the foundation on the internet.